It's the 31st of the month, which marks the last day of the month. For me, the last week means savings challenges. Time for some fun. Let's go. Mabuhay! Pinang family, happy hour you guys! If you're a family member, welcome back to my channel. And if you're not yet, consider being a part of the family by clicking that subscribe button. Here on my channel, I do all cash stuffing related content and I use savings challenges as a method to motivate me to save money for my family's future. This is our fifth week of cash stuffing for the month. I am stuffing a combination of three incomes, a portion of my husband's paycheck, 10% of my Etsy March net sales, and my YouTube pay for the month of January and February. So let's go ahead and count uh, how much we are cash stuffing today. We have 100 to 300. Let's go ahead and set that up. 54, 55, 56, 50, 700. 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 900. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3. So we are cash stuffing $943. So on my last week of the month of cash stuffing, guys, we focus on savings challenges only so we have all this cash to spread just on our savings challenges i know i mentioned this stuff often but you never know who could be joining us for the first time so if you are hello let's start with our wallet of course because we need to unstuff our budget from last week so we can roll that over into our savings challenges okay so let's unstuff the budget from last week okay so we have a $25 okay so one of my viewers was asking for an update from last week shopping hey girl okay so last sunday we dedicated the whole day to go shopping for my kids and husband we planned to go to the first store as soon as they opened normally at um i think 10 10 30 uh, before we left the house we fed our kids brought drinks to avoid eating out and spending more than our budget our plan was to go to the furthest store first and worked our way back home the first store we went to was Kohl's then there was an Old Navy near there then to Unique Low for my husband so by lunchtime we were done with the first three stores kids were you know starting to get hungry so we went back home we fed the kids and we decided to leave them home with their grandparents my husband and i you know decided to go back out and finish the shopping we only had like a couple of stores left like in our list we went to we went to ross we went to target we went to Marshalls, Burlington, and then the children's place. Those are the stores I like to get my kids clothes from because, you know, their clothes are affordable to me. Another great Sunday, and not too rough on the old pocketbook. So, 
by the time we finish was around you know 6 p.m just in time to get the kids eat, to eat dinner shower and ready for bed because they have like school the next day and oh i almost forgot so we have store credit cards of all the stores we went to except ross and uniqlo I intended to leave like all our store credit cards at home so that I don't have to use them even though I know that Kohl's and Old Navy and the Children's Place offers to give you more discounts if you use their credit cards for purchase you know which they offered during the checkout you know my husband asked me if I wanted to do that and I was prepared to say no you know a little more discount is not going to you know hurt our pockets so um like if i use the credit cards that day you know i just don't like to like calculate each and every time like the receipts and the cash we have on hand then i'm gonna have to deposit the cash left over to the bank to pay those you know credit cards like i don't prefer to do that i you know really just prefer to use the cash we have on hand so i told myself like i'm not gonna get sucked in with the discounts that they're offering so that you know we can use the credit cards and i'm not worried about like our credit score at the moment because you know we don't have any type of debt um, we haven't used our credit card in uh, credit cards in months our credit scores Mine is in the average. However, my husband has a very good credit score, but he thinks it should be higher. <laughs> so yeah, personal, done, giving. Okay, so we were able to bless someone that day. So my giving envelope is now empty. And if you're feeling a little giving, please hit that like button and give the video some love. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't joined the family yet. And thank you. Giving. Let's see. Okay, so we have $50 left. Okay, buffer. We have $30 left. Okay, and we have... Oh, won't even open. Oh, yeah, because I have a lot of receipt here to scan to my fetch reward so that I can um, get some points or earn some points yeah I have a lot okay so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and scan this later I'm just gonna go ahead and empty my um, envelope all right you guys so let's go ahead and set up for next week Okay, so personal okay, is going to get 25. Okay, for our giving, it's going to get 20. 20, I mean, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Let's move this up so you guys can see better. Okay, so for dining, it's going to get its usual $50. And for buffer, it's going to get its... 30. Okay, you guys, so our wallet is ready for next week. All right, so now let's go ahead and transfer this budget to into our no spend, less spend savings challenge. Let's go to March. Okay, so we have here 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, $105 to roll over. And we can go ahead and add this up together and close the month. Close the month means so I can update my tracker. <laughs> All right. 
So I already colored in my tracker from one, three, four, five. Okay, so from the 25th to the 31st. And I just need to count this up so that I can update my tracker. So how much have we uh, saved for the month of March? 5,100, 5,200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40, 2, 4, 6, 8, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 70, 2, 4, 6, 8, 80, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. Okay, so we have saved 400, 486. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and just put this away. That's amazing. Saved, we saved $486 for the month of March. Okay. So our, um, this savings challenge is done. Oh, and I do have, guys, I do have a lot of coins from our shopping last week. Yeah, because my coin purse is full, like full. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and separate these coins. Okay, you guys, so our coins is separated, and we're going to go ahead and put them on my coin tower. All right, let's go ahead and do the pennies. And I do separate my coins this way because, you know, before we deposit them into, um, deposit them to the bank, coins are already separated. Yeah, so it's easier to roll them in the wrapper, you know? All right, so let's go ahead and do the dimes. And nickels. Okay, you guys, so our coins is done. Let's do our YouTube savings challenge. All right, so I have my marker right here. So week 12. Okay, you guys, so we have two video activities that we are adding into this savings challenge. Okay, so the first video um, was the March week four cash stuffing. So that video got 63 likes and 48 comments. And the second video is the sinking fund on stuffing and bill exchange. So that video got 73 likes and 43 comments. Thank you to those who liked those videos and left me comments. So that's a total of uh, 91 comments and 136 likes. Uh, we are taking the greater number of 136 likes times 50 cents each. And that is $68, you guys. All right. So let's go ahead and put in a 68, 50, 65, 6, 7, 8. All right, so let's go ahead and count how much we have now in this savings challenge. 100, 200, 50, 300, 50, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500 dollars? Wow, okay. So 500, 5, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, okay, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, so 500, 
$45 so far saved in the savings challenge. Okay, so we are not done with this. Let's go ahead and move on to our bingo savings challenge. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and just wing it um, between bingo, scratch off, and 52 envelope savings challenge. And we have a lot of money left, so we're going to go ahead and maybe draw, depending on the amount that we draw today, um, but it's going to be more than... Uh, two that's my plan so let's go ahead and all right so let's go ahead and get ready okay you guys so we are playing bingo right now let's go ahead and draw our first chip okay oh at 98 is it 86 or 98 Okay, it's $86. Okay, so 86, I'm gonna need my calculator. Okay, so, so right now we have 86. Let's go ahead and draw one more number. Okay. Okay, so we have 43. So let's see how much that is. 86 plus 43, 129. So I think I can draw one more number. Okay. Okay, you guys. Oh, okay. So 27. All right. So $156 to stuff today. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do 155, 6. 156, right? Yeah. So 155, 6 into our bingo. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and count this maybe when I'm um, when I completed the savings challenge. What do you guys think? Let me know. So let me know if you guys want me to count this as we go along. But I want to like surprise myself. But if you guys want me to count it, I'll do it on the next video moving forward. Okay, so where are my chips? All right, so now let's go ahead and mark off the numbers. So 27. Uh, 43. And 98. I mean, no, not 98. <laughs> 86. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put the drawn chips into this small container. And yeah, I think we're good with the bingo savings challenge. Oh, and thank you so much to those who have ordered their very own bingo set. So if you guys like what you see, uh, make sure to check out the link to my store above or in the description below. So let's go ahead and do our scratch off savings challenge. I have my tracker right here. So let me see. My plan is to... Okay, still have a lot of money here. So I think we can do maybe two or three scratch off savings challenge. So it depends the amount, like how much, I mean, the amount that we're going to scratch off today. So let's go ahead and shuffle this um, mini envelopes. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our first mini envelopes. Okay. All right, so I have my coin right here. 
Okay. Guys, we are still expecting for our tax refund. A lot of people got their tax return already and they said it didn't take that long compared to um, last year. Um, I don't know how much we will budget for our tax refund because I don't know how much we are getting back. Um, I have, you know, I have yet to hear from my tax person. I decided to use um, legal Zoom to do my business and personal taxes this year. Um, before my business, my husband and I used H&R Block to file, but we read, you know, good reviews about legal Zoom, and they you know offered and helped us with like quick books um, I wanted to have that stress free about like filing for my business that's why we hired them like I never really wanted to do our own tax filing that's why we always uh, hire a professional to do it for us okay so ooh, $145 that we are stuffing Okay, 145. Let me go ahead and mark off 145. Okay, so we have 100. Like, I am not, you know, being impatient about um, our tax refund. I don't know, am I? <laughs> like, the tax refund is actually like unexpected money, but we might need to replace my youngest son's um, iPad because like there's something wrong with the charging socket like it's causing the iPad not to fully charge 145 okay like the problem is ongoing since like December um, it was like somehow charging but you know we just have to like wiggle the charger in the socket like once it starts charging we have to leave it alone but even when in use the bat the battery drains in an hour like he's had it since he was younger and you know younger kids don't value things like ipads like he threw it he threw it around and smashes like on the screen when he was smaller <laughs> Ah, abusive. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and put this away first. So this is done. So we had it checked out, hoping it's inexpensive to fix, but the guy said it costs about the same for the new iPad. Um, like, I've just been holding it off, you know, but he should get a new one because he's been borrowing his sibling's um, iPad and, you know, or his dad's iPad. <sighs> Just like his dad, boys and their toys, right? <laughs> All right, so this is done. So let me see. Yeah, I think we should scratch one more. Oh, <laughs> forgot the shovel. All right, so let's go ahead and shuffle this. And my my youngest son's birthday is coming up in May, but I'm thinking instead of saving for his iPad slowly, we'll just you know use the refund tax money to just purchase it. So depending on how much is like our tax refund, you know I also want to put more money into my children's 529 accounts because you know every year like I have a target goal for each of them until like they reach a certain age and oh my husband is also asking if he can invest on more stocks so I told him as long as the kids are covered for this year um, then you know we'll talk about it again Okay, you guys, so we have our next mini envelope. All right, so let's go ahead and scratch that off. Oh, we also need to replace our pillows. Like we have like 10 pillows to replace. Like how often do you guys replace your pillows? Do you even replace them at all? Like do you guys buy a certain brand? Like I don't go for like a particular brand like I just buy the fluffy ones and 
I replace ours like once a year because like over time the pillows become like flat and that's you know that's the time we have to replace them but you know the bed is a place of rest and if you can't rest with you know flat pillows then what is the point right priorities okay you guys so we have scratched off one hundred and thirty dollars so we have one hundred twenty thirty all right so okay so one hundred and thirty let me go ahead and find one hundred thirty okay found it <laughs> so I think we're okay for now let's see how much money we have left 50 100 okay oh 250 50 60 70 80 85 90 95 100 okay we have a lot of ones here so I don't know, I'm thinking 100. Maybe we should do one more number on bingo. <laughs> one more number, guys. Because I know I want to put at least, um, I want to do at least two envelopes on my 52 envelope savings challenge. But let's see how much we'll have left. After drawing one more number. Okay, I don't know. Somehow this game excite me <laughs> all right so okay you guys one more number and then i think we should be done after this <laughs> i mean not done done but because we still have to do our 52 i mean after one more number we should stop drawing <laughs> okay okay let's see okay so <laughs> eleven dollars all right so let's go ahead and put this here eleven dollars should we do one more guys <laughs> oh my gosh this is so tempting all right let's do okay all right so let's go ahead and okay i don't want to use this one i have my own mark marker so eleven dollars i think i might do one more number all right, let me go ahead and take $11 first. And then we're going to do one more number because we picked out the small amount. Okay. Okay, one more for sure. <laughs> okay. And we have, oh, 55. Okay, that's good amount. Uh, oh, why am I putting it back here? <laughs> okay, so 55. All right, so... All right, so 55. Okay, so we have 50 and a 5. Okay, so we are now going to go ahead and stuff them in our envelope. But I think I'm going to go ahead and change this to a bigger bill. So that I can um, stuff them into my 52 envelope savings challenge is not, you know, bulky. All right, so let's see what we can change. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30, 40, 50. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the 50 here. And we th I think I can go ahead and change. Okay, I'll take this two 50s, guys. Two 50s and change it to 100. Okay. Okay, so I think we're good. Okay.
Okay, you guys. So now, okay, we have two, I mean, 150, 250, one, two, three. So, $253. Let's go ahead and do. You think two or three envelopes, <laughs> All right? So, number 23 and number 24. Let me see. Okay, so $100 envelope 23. Um, I'm thinking if we have. Is there anything that we can change? I'm just thinking. Oh, okay. So we have a bigger bills here. So let me just change this. All right. Okay. All right. So we'll do another hundred dollars in envelope at twenty four. Okay, and one more envelope, you guys. Envelope 25, 50, one, two, three, so $53. Okay, and we are going to update our tracker. So envelope 23, we put in $100. Uh, envelope 24 is 100. And envelope 25 is $53. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps push the video to a wider audience. And guys, thank you for being here today. And thank you for everything you do to support me in any way. I appreciate you choosing me to spend time with today. Um, I will definitely see you guys on my next video. Okay? Bye, everyone.